What makes images such as these so appealing? The golden ratio provides a mathematical explanation for why we find certain images beautiful. It was first defined in 300 BCE when Euclid provided the first geometric definition of what would later be called the golden ratio. It was derived from the simple division of a line into its extreme and mean ratio, meaning in Euclid's words that as the whole is to the greater segment, so is the greater to the lesser. Visually, we can see in our line AB is longer than AC and AC is longer than CB. When the ratio of AB to CB is the same as the ratio of AB to AC, the line is cut according to the golden ratio. When these proportions are applied in two dimensions, we have the golden rectangle. Phi is the Greek symbol used to represent the golden ratio. Expressed algebraically as seen in the visual, phi is approximately expressed as 1.618033988787, continuing. Successive approximations for the golden ratio are equal to the ratios of the Fibonacci sequence, and the higher terms of the Fibonacci sequence converge to the golden ratio. Although the concept is abstract by nature, the golden ratio can literally be applied in nature. For instance, in the process by which sunflower seeds grow, the golden ratio number five reveals the technique used to most efficiently pack as many seeds in a given capacity. Likewise, the more familiar number pi is used throughout methods of design in nature. However, its spirals include gaps that are not helpful in the structure of plants with the intent to cover as much surface area as possible. As seen, the phi number involves spirals in both directions and thus encloses the space more compactly. This self-similarity seems to be prevalent in structures beyond floral design. This common phenomenon can be applied to the human body structures as well. The segments in the skeletal hand structures, as shown, give a simple depiction of how this is so. The smaller sections of the hand, also known as the phalanges, are, are proportionate to the larger sections, also known as the metacarpals, as the larger sections are proportionate to the given whole. The golden ratio is also found in the structure of the Parthenon, specifically the golden spiral. The golden spiral is a logarithmic curve in which the growth factor is phi. It causes the spiral to behave in such a way that it becomes wider the further away from the center it moves. The Parthenon was constructed long before Euclid defined the golden ratio. The Great Pyramid of Giza, constructed as a tomb for Khufu, contains the relationships of phi in its design. As demonstrated in this image, the right triangle within the pyramid has a ratio of 1 to the square root of phi to phi. This right triangle is a bisection of the golden triangle, which is actually an isosceles triangle in which the smaller side is in golden ratio with its adjacent side. The famous portrait of the Mona Lisa is an effective example of the golden ratio applied in art. Drawing a rectangle around her face, and then further around her eyes, and even around the rest of her body, we can see that her features fall within the golden spiral and the golden rectangle. The golden ratio was one of the many geometric tools da Vinci incorporated into his paintings. Perhaps this is one of the reasons why this work of art has fascinated us for centuries. Perhaps one area of everyday life that one won't expect to see this ancient mathematical concept applied is popular culture. The golden ratio potentially serves as a means of judgment of facial attractiveness through an objective mathematical approach. Roughly, a person's face should be two-thirds wide as it is tall to be deemed physically appealing, essentially attempting to achieve a proportion of 1.618 as opposed to 1.666 repeating. Thus, a celebrity's attractiveness can be evaluated through a mathematical scope by judging particular facial features in proportion to one another. This includes, but is not limited to, hairline to brow, brow to base of nose, nose to chin, and can also stem from more detailed dimensions such as distance between eyes and width of mouth. Three celebrities commonly considered attractive are Angelina Jolie, Halle Berry, and Brad Pitt. A biostatistical study was done by Dr. Kendra Schmid using a formula involving the golden ratio's proportions to compare these celebrities' faces to the perfect face. According to her findings, each are exceptionally attractive by surpassing the average score range of 4 to 6 on a 1 to 10 scale when being judged according to the golden ratio. 
With their constant public attention and praise for good looks, the question arises whether these celebrities' attractiveness is attributed to an objective mathematical reason or subjective opinion that a significantly large amount of people seem to agree upon. Thus, the implications of Phi's role in appeal could be as numerous as its digits. Do you think things you find appealing are just so by aesthetics, or could somehow be linked to a mathematical structure that satisfies objective requirements of the term beautiful?